Hello, Patreon supporters. Uh, I wanted to go over a real quick tip today um, with your sculpting tools. This is my new sculpting tool that I got to replace this sculpting tool, which, as you can see, I broke. Now, this tool has lasted me about four years, and I am really hard on my tools. So the fact that it lasted this long is pretty impressive, um, which is why I always recommend Ken'sTools.com. Not only is Ken one of the nicest people you'll ever meet, but his tools are really awesome. So I ordered a new tool to replace the one I broke. Now, when you get a new tool from Ken, this is called a rake tool. This is the ST5, I believe. You can see that the, it, the saw blade that it's made with has very sharp teeth on it because it is a fresh blade versus my tool here. Now, everybody likes theirs a little bit different, but I'm gonna show you how I like mine. So when you get the tool, it makes these really sharp marks. You can see how it's, it's shoving the clay off like that. I'm gonna try to use this one. We're just gonna pretend that it's fixed. But you can see how the mark making is a lot softer. Okay, so here we go. I don't know if you guys can see that. These are very deep grooves. These are much shallower. And I like it the much shallower way. So what you do is you can get a rotary tool. I just have this uh, Dremel Micro that I don't even think they make anymore because it has issues with overheating. But you can get any sort of um, rotary tool. Uh, Harbor Freight makes one. And then I like to go with a barrel sander here. This is one I've I probably used a little bit too much, but it'll work just fine for this. Uh, I prefer the 60 grit for this, but you can do the 120, I think. And then you take your tool, which shouldn't have any clay on it, but here we are. And you just dremel it down. Now it's still a little bit too sharp for my taste because I can still see the curvature of the blade. So we'll take it down a little bit more. Okay, that looks about right. And I can, I don't know if you can see it in the light here, but it basically makes like a dash pattern. So, I'll bring it back over to here. Yeah, that's that's what I'm looking for, right there. Okay, so that's basically how you do it. Now, you saw when I was sanding it that it did have some sparks shooting off. Just be safe, people. Um, I have uh, really rough hands that can kind of take some abuse. The sparks don't really hurt, but they just, you know, to be on the safe side, you might want to wear some leather gloves. And please don't keep anything flammable nearby while you're doing this. Uh, I hope that helps you. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.